We take a closer look now at one of the young people whose fate could depend on Congress. Tyler Paley of Arizona PBS has the story of one dreamer currently protected under DACA and his uncertain future. Inside the ring, tranquility, comfort, focus. But outside, a world of uncertainty and a fear of what tomorrow could hold, not just for one, but for many. I know the consequences is not just for me, it's for my entire family. I feel like this is the place I could give my children the best future, just like my parents were able to give me the, um, you know, the best opportunities I could ever ask for. Alexi Sazueta arrived in the United States in 1996, brought to Arizona by his parents from Sinaloa, Mexico, when he was one year old. The Zazuetas were undocumented, just like 11 million other people currently in the United States. I didn't even know um, much about, you know, being an illegal immigrant, you know. I saw myself the same as all my classmates. In middle school, Alexis got his first taste of what ultimately would become his life's passion. I remember one day when I was 12, I went to the swap meet with my dad. <laughs> when I saw a pair of boxing gloves, I asked him, Dad, can I, um, can I get some of those pairs of boxing gloves? I believe they were probably like $10, and he bought me two pairs so I could find my brother. <laughs> and with that, he instantly fell in love with the sport. When he first started boxing, I couldn't even look at him. I was so afraid for him. But his coach told me it was important for me to be there. I remember the first day walking in, you know, seeing the rings on the side, the boxing bags here, um, all the fighters just hitting pads, sparring. I was like, wow, it was like something out of a movie, you know. Uh, I used to believe that only rich kids used to <laughs> box, you know. At 17, Zazueta's amateur career was taking off. He made it past the Golden Glove State Tournament with ease. Then came the regional tournament in Las Vegas, where he represented Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Nevada. Another victory meant a bid to the national tournament. I remember training so hard for that fight. You know, waking up super early to go run, get my workout in, going home, getting ready for school. Right after school, go to the gym. Right after the gym, go to my strength and conditioning. Every day, it was like a, it was a routine. Boom, 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 for like two months. His first professional match was in November 2013. And in the four years since, he's undefeated at 9-0 with five knockouts. For Zezueta, it's his family that keeps him going. The 22-year-old not only has his parents and four siblings, but he's the breadwinner for a family of his own. He has an eight-year-old stepson, named Daniel, and his girlfriend Paula just had their baby boy in November. It's making him more responsible because he know what he's chasing, you know? I'm the head of, of my family. You know, I gotta always find a way to, just like, my, just like my dad did, find a way to succeed. I gotta do that now to my family. Zazueta says he's never been in better shape and his family is healthy. He renewed his DACA enrollment for another two years in September, but the president's decision to roll back the program it's what keeps us wet up at night. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Tyler Paley in Phoenix, Arizona.